Hi, this is Andrew Bell, and today's video is going to start with a quote from Oscar Wilde. And that quote is, Life imitates art far more than art imitates life. This is a famous quote, and you'll sometimes hear parts of it, life imitates art, or art imitating life. What that means here is that sometimes things in real life get their inspiration from something that happened in art. The opposite of that is art imitating life, which is where art is getting its inspiration from life. In the United States, there is one kind of business which is called a check cashing shop or a check cashing business. And this is usually for people who don't have so much money and they don't have a bank account. And because they don't have a bank account, they need to go to a service like this to cash a check. And our story is about a robbery. And so this gentleman, Akim Mansel, Mansalvat, I'm not sure how to pronounce his uh, last name, but Akim Mansalvat, is one of three black men who allegedly robbed this Queen's check cashing shop. Allegedly means it's not been proven yet. There's no proof yet. This is the one of the gentlemen. This is Akim Mansalvat here. He's uh, an African-American man and he was actually wearing a t-shirt that came from the movie The Town and that t-shirt actually became evidence in his trial. So when we talked about our original quote which was life imitates art, in this case the art is the movie the town and life is the robbery the real life robbery that happened this is the mask that he wore and Akim Mansalvat is one of three African American men who African American men who allegedly robbed this Queen's check cashing shop in white masks they wore these masks which they got from a special effects shop. So let's look at the headline from the New York Post article. Black robbers use $2,000 white masks to fool victims in a $200,000 town style stick-up, prosecutors say. A stick-up is a robbery and prosecutors are government lawyers who try to convict people and, and put them in jail for crimes. All right, I have some excerpts of the article from the New York Post here that I wanted to go through. Let's take a look at this first paragraph that I have circled. A crafty trio of black robbers bought lifelike disguises from a special effects firm to transform themselves into white cops for a queen's heist and their get-ups were so good, the victims had no clue they were in masks. Crafty here means smart. Trio means a group of three people. So a crafty trio of black robbers bought lifelike disguises. A disguise is like a costume, like for Halloween. And lifelike means really looks real. And heist is another word for robbery. And the victims had no clue means they had no idea. The people who got robbed had no idea that the people were actually wearing masks. Once again, this paragraph, a crafty trio of black robbers bought lifelike life -like disguises from a special effects firm. A firm is a company. Special effects is uh, for movies when they, when they make something look real and it's actually fake, that's special effects. So they bought lifelike 
lifelike disguises from a special effects firm to transform themselves into white cops for a queen's heist. And once again, a heist is a robbery. And their get-ups, a get-up is another word for disguise, and their get-ups were so good, the victims had no clue they were in masks. And going over here to the second highlighted text, the accused crooks were apparently inspired by the 2010 Ben Affleck flick, The Town. Flick is another word for movie, and the accused are people who are not yet proven guilty for a crime. People, the prosecutors, are saying that they are guilty, but it's not proven yet, and that's why it's only accused, not guilty yet. The accused crooks, which is another word for criminals, the accused crooks were apparently inspired by the 2010 Ben Affleck flick, or movie, The Town. As in the movie, in addition to donning mask, to don is another word to, that means wear, to wear clothes, to, to wear a mask. As in the movie, in addition to donning masks, the robbers dress as cops, douse the crime scene with bleach to destroy DNA traces, and provide evidence to a victim to prove they know where she lives in case she squeals. To squeal would mean to tell the police the truth. And so they, they got the woman's ID card so that they could prove that they knew her address. Douse means to completely cover with some liquid, whether it's gasoline or whatever it is. In this case, it was bleach. And this actually came from the movie. They did this in the movie. They poured bleach everywhere in the bank that they had touched anything so that it would destroy DNA. They did the same thing in the payomatic check cashing place. Okay, a little more in this article. The major break in the case, which means how the police were able to finally so solve the crime, the major break in the case came after police discovered an email. Apparently, the man, Akeem, sent an email to the company, which is called CFX, and he gave a hearty endorsement after the robbery. A hearty endorse endorsement, a hearty endorsement is a, a vote of confidence. It means that he was really saying that this is a, a very good product. And here is what he wrote. I'm sending you this message to say I'm extremely pleased by CFX work on the mask, he allegedly wrote. The realism of the mask is unbelievable. And that's how he got caught. If he hadn't have sent that email, he would not have been caught. This is the art. We talked about life imitating art. This is the art. This is the 2010 movie called The Town. Um, it's available in DVD, and I downloaded it from iTunes, and I will be showing an excerpt, which means a part, an excerpt of this movie when we discuss the article later in class. All right, this is Andrew Bell talking about how life can imitate art. If you're interested in my free classes, advanced classes in English as a Second Language, you can get more information at nycesl.com. Once again, that's nycesl.com.